So temperatures will slide back into the lower 50s tonight. Again, an isolated shower possible into tomorrow morning. And once we get past the morning, that threat will start to decrease and move northward. Now, only a 20% chance of this. So these will be extremely isolated into midday, but mainly up into the snow belt. And by the time we get into the late afternoon hours, the sunshine finds its way back out and a really nice Friday afternoon and evening expected. And that's great news for Friday evening football plans. Uh, temperatures will be starting out in the upper 60s, then sliding into the 50s through the games. And another uh, really nice evening for football. Uh, so far this season, really getting underway with some good weather across our region. Now, heading into Saturday, it gets even better. More sunshine expected through the day, low humidity expected, and afternoon highs in the upper 70s, uh, trying to get closer to 80 degrees. And we'll get there on Saturday. Sunday. In fact, we're going to go past that 80 degree mark. Temperatures tonight down to 53, scattered clouds, very isolated showers still possible overnight. Going to leave that tiny chance of one of those isolated showers in the snow belt in the morning, but the biggest part of the day is dry. Some clouds around early, more sunshine into the afternoon, and the temperatures keep on climbing through the weekend. But Friday evening, if you do have plans to head to one of those games, I mean, a sweatshirt or a jacket wouldn't be a bad idea. Those temperatures will slip pretty quickly as that sun sets through the evenings. And so temperatures for the weekend, 78 Saturday, mid-80s on Sunday. Here come the 80s, and they're going to stick around. Uh, middle 80s on Monday, and uh, low 80s rather, a chance, very small chance, of an isolated shower or storm in the afternoon. Same story on Tuesday, just warmer, and then still in the lower 80s, a better chance of some showers and storms moving in next Wednesday.